Do you want to know? <laughs> Sorry. Streaming. There it is. I see it. It says live. It says live. Yay! Hi, it's live. I see us. I see us. <laughs> Yay! Hooray! Hello. Hello, everyone. Just give me a second to regroup. So sorry for the technical difficulties. We are unable to broadcast to Facebook today, but it's okay because we can watch, we can broadcast to YouTube and you can watch. I don't think you need a YouTube um, account to watch it on YouTube. So anyway, say hello. Send us some calming words. <laughs> really stressful right now. <laughs> Sean is going like this in the background. Yeah, we were, we were, uh, <laughs> what, what is it called? Almost having a meltdown over here. Shauna is helping me behind the scenes. Hooray. <laughs> Thanks, Shauna, for your help. I don't know what I would do without you. Hello and welcome everyone to the Craft Stash live broadcast. I almost said Facebook, but no, it's not being broadcast on Facebook today. We've got an exciting show for you. Uh, we have on air giveaways, giveaways that are uh, that you can enter until midnight. We also have a giveaway that you can enter all week long until next Friday. So lots of giveaways, lots of ways to enter to win some fabulous Making Faces products. Now the Making Faces collection is from Jane Davenport who is from Australia and she is just like a crafty, magical unicorn artist <laughs> and she has her own line of like art supplies she's got paint paints and brushes and tools all sorts we already have some, one of her lines uh called art, art artemology i hope i'm saying that right so that's already available on the craft stash website and there's currently a 10 percent off discount on her artemology range so you can check that out but uh the new making faces collection is really exciting and we've got one chance for you to win one of those bundles on air today, but also we're giving away four uh, Making Faces collection prizes in total. So super excited about that. Super excited for you guys of how to play with the collection and it's fantastic. But before we move on any further, say hello, <laughs> tell us where you're watching from. Don't forget to share this <laughs> broadcast. You can actually share you can still share the YouTube link, so you can just copy and paste it onto your Facebook page if you'd be so kind to do that. It'll just um, help spread this broadcast out so more people can join us, um, join us live. So let me say hello to some people, yay. Uh, we've got Deb from Minnesota. Ooh, you are probably very cold and lots of snow. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Uh, Lisa Turner, hello. Shelly Yeldon says hello. Tom McCormick, Sandra Embry, hi. Um, Leanne, hello. Sharon Hudson, uh, Tammy Donaldson says hi. Emma Baker, I think everybody is good now. You, there were some comments at the beginning saying that you couldn't see us or hear us, but I think those have been sorted. So, so happy you're here. Jules, hi Jules. Um, Irene and Nikki Craft says, hi everyone. Uh, Carrie Ann Harwood says, ooh, I see you. <laughs> so glad, so glad you are all here. Thank you for joining us. Um, let us know if you're Jane Davenport fans. I am, she's got some, she's just so talented. Like I, how can a person be so talented? I don't understand. <laughs> so super excited for Jane Davenport. Becky Holiday says Jane is a magical unicorn. Yes, she is indeed. All right. So we've got prizes on an on-air prize. Um, also some prizes after the broadcast that you can enter in until midnight. And then also a chance to win on the Craft Stash blog, Craft Stash Inspiration blog, which I'm sure Laura will be <laughs> providing links for all these places for you to enter those giveaways because we've got prizes. But I think the most exciting thing, which I, I just want to tell everyone because it's just like the coolest thing ever. So uh, four lucky people 
are going to actually win an original Jane Davenport signed by Jane Davenport herself. So we've got four of these and we're going to put these in really nice frames for you and ship those ever so carefully to you as well. So four people are going to win Jane Davenport originals, which I wonder if we can show these on the close-up camera. I don't know if we're too far. So there's one of them. Beautiful. One more. I am so jealous. Look at those. Aren't those amazing, Shauna? Oh, they're so cool. And one more. <laughs> and then the last one. So these we will frame for four unlucky people. And I'll tell you how to enter that giveaway in just a bit. Whoa. Now her Making Faces collection is really cool because it's inspired by makeup. So if you have been wanting to try painting and mixed media, or like you've wanted to try pastels, or like pastel crayons, then you, you can now. Like it's not so intimidating because this collection bridges the gap between art supplies and like makeup. So what's really cool is like some of these, like let's say for example her, um, her palette pastels. They look like eyeshadows, but they're pastels. So it's just, it's just really fun and they're really easy to work with. And I'm gonna do some demonstrations for you, but these are really cool. So there's lots to share on that. So let me share, let me try to reorganize myself here so I can show you some of these on the close-up, on the close-up camera before we get to the demonstration. So um, let's see, I wanna start off with this one. So oh, this one here, we can show it on the close-up camera. Can you see it there? <laughs> so this is the Matchmaker paint set. Let me move this out of the way. And this is a face base, so it's for um, drawing skin tones on faces. So uh, it has like a, a base right here and then darkening drops and lightening drops. So you can do all sorts of um, a range of like skin tones and you can make highlights and shadows and when you get these down on I'm gonna show you in just a bit how these work but once you uh, paint paint with these and they they dry they are a matte finish so you can use other mediums on top of them like uh, pastels and pens and watercolors so they're just really receptive to so many mediums and you can even use like alcohol inks on top of them so it's just really cool and it looks like foundation. It's so cute. Isn't that awesome? Why is it so cool? I just can't get over how cool it is. <laughs> oh, amazing, amazing. Oh, 62 people watching on YouTube, hi. So yeah, it's just the cutest collection and it, it really just reminds you of makeup and I think that because it, it reminds you of makeup and it's inspired by makeup, it's really easy to make that transition into mixed media it's it's really weird like <laughs> i would be intimidated to try paints acrylic paints or like oil pastels but with these it's it's easy you're gonna see how easy it is because if i can do it you can do it too so let's show what should we show next <laughs> let's show some of the paint brushes because there's some really beautiful paint set paint brush sets in here so here's one of them. Now this one is really cool because it's super heavy. It's a magnetic stand. So if you see here, it's a stand for your uh, brushes, but it's like magnetic at the same time, which is really cool. So it's four brushes and you store them inside the metal cube and you just let the brushes hang so that they can dry. So it's kind of cool. And it's got like a really nice black and gold detail there. There's my other set of brushes. There they are. This, this is the, the Mermalicious, and I've already opened this one because I've been having a play with it. But these are stunning, guys. Let me open it. Aren't those beautiful? I think someone, didn't uh, Eleanor buy this set? Or Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have people just buying the, uh, <laughs> the brush sets because they're just nice. So look at that little uh, mermaid tail. So I'm gonna show you how to use those. Let me just take those out because I'm gonna use them for the demo. And then we have this wide, wider brush here. And this one pops inside of here, I believe. Yep. It's got a little home 
Look how cool that is. So you can protect that. So nice. These are nicer than some of like the makeup brushes that I've actually seen at the, you know, department store. What's this one? Oh, these are cool. These are little baton blenders. Sorry, let me show them all the close-up ones. Getting excited and ahead of myself. So these are baton blenders and you use these with the um, palette pastels, which I will show you in just a bit, but they look just like those eyeshadow op applicators. But these are really good quality guys. You know how sometimes you buy these at the like pound shop and <laughs> like you go like this and they feels like they're gonna fall apart? These are fancy. They're really good quality and they're really good for blending and applying some of these palettes, palette pastels onto our faces, which I'm gonna show you in just a bit. I'm gonna leave these out as well because I'm gonna use them for the demonstration. And then I wanted to show Let's show the palette pastels up close because those are really, I found uh, these were the easiest to work with for me. I don't know, they just, they made sense to me, I guess, which is weird because I'm not into eye makeup. I, I have struggles <laughs> with putting on eye makeup. I don't know if anybody else is like that. But I just, I just skip, skip that completely. <laughs> so these are, let me see if we can see those on the close up. So these are the palette pastels and they're inspired by eyeshadows and they're also cruelty free. So yay, they're not tested on animals. Um, now you want to use this kind of at the end of your project. So almost like when you're done with your acrylic base, acrylic paint base and all that, these kind of go on at the end and you can erase them if you mess up, which I probably will mess up on my demo. So you'll see that. Um, and there's also a shimmer shimmer set where'd it go oh here here they are look how cute those are you cannot put these on your face <laughs> no it might be tempting if you're into makeup palettes <laughs> to use these on your face but they are not for your face they are for your art so let me set those aside and let me grab the one that i'm going to be using during the demonstration which is the, the birthday suit palette so I'll set that over here. And then uh, one of our four prize bundles includes one of these palettes. So four people are gonna win one of these, one of those palettes. And the prize, I think the giveaway we're doing today is valid over 130, I was gonna say 135, 139 pounds. <laughs> Shauna, was there a flash for that? <laughs> no, okay, right, that's fine. So our giveaway is valued at 139 pounds, so 139 pounds worth of Making Faces collection products. Plus, I think these are priceless, guys, the ones from uh, Jane Davenport. So lucky getting some Jane Davenport art to hang in your craft room. How inspiring. <laughs> so these are the um, velvet pastels. Pastels or pastels? How do you say it, Shauna? Pastels. In the States, we say pastels. So I'm sorry if, if I'm saying it wrong or it sounds wrong. So these are the velvet past pastels. <laughs> now I'm getting confused. <laughs> so these kind of imitate a uh, lip gloss, like liquid lip gloss. So they are very soft and creamy, but they dry to like a waterproof velvety finish. And I'm going to show you how these work in the demonstration, but they're so, <laughs> like even the applicator tip, it looks just like lip gloss and you might be tempted to use it on your lips, but do not. <laughs> it's just such a cool like range of colors and I think it's just so helpful in case you have been wanting to get more artistic and into painting, into mixed media. It's just a good bridge. This collection is a good bridge into that world. So worth, worth a, what is it? Worth a peek? Worth, worth a try? Worth a try. All right. Oh, and there's a code I told you. Also, oh, did I say about the code? So if you want to get a 10% off of Jane's Artemology line, which is on Craft Stash, then just use the code Jane10 at checkout. <laughs> um, let's see. Natalie Lewis says, I've never seen anything like these before. Wow, I know they're so cool. Um, Shirley Clark says she would love the pas pastels. Pastels, now I wanna say pastels. Should I say pastels? 
I don't know. What should I do, guys? <laughs> um, that's the bridge says, any of the prizes is she never wins anything. Aw, well, good luck to you, Vanessa. I hope that you win. There's lots of chances to win today in different, different places for you to enter. So if you have any friends that maybe are working right now or are busy, make sure that you share this broadcast with them so that they can also enter the giveaway because some of these prizes are going to be um, the entry to op is open until midnight tonight. So share, share, share with your friends so that they don't miss out. Um, Kim Sadler says that she would love the fishtail brushes. Oh yeah, the mermaid brushes, Mermalicious. Um, Leanne says these all look amazing. Uh, Jelly Baby 86 says she needs to see the demonstration, otherwise she'd be so tempted to use them on her face. <laughs> I know, it's so tempting, especially with the, um, the foundation because you can make like different colors, custom colors, depending on how much lightning drops you put in it or how much darkening drops you put on it. And I always struggle to find a foundation that works for my skin tone. Like, I don't know, it's always too dark. So that is very <laughs> tempting. Uh, Pauline Taylor says the portraits are amazing. Yes, they are up for grabs. Uh, Monica Holloway says as an artist that she's really excited about these. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, so thank you, thank you for those comments. Keep them coming. Now we've got the um, color sticks, which I have another set. Is this it? Oh. Color sticks, sorry. So these are, let me try to show these on the close up camera. So these mimic lipstick, even though like they are a water sol soluble um, creamy pas pastel but they are, have like the same consistency as lipstick, but it's, it's kind of like a crayon, which is really cool. And you'll see those, they're really blendable and super fun. Lots of colors to pick from. All right. And then we have, oh, we also have a brush cleaner, brush um, cleaner and conditioner available so you can see that on the website. Sorry, there's so much in here and I wanna to get to the demonstrations. More, another brush set, which I think I already showed that one. That was the magnet, magnetic brush set. And then these are the drama sticks. So I'll show you these, I'll open them. I'll open one of them because I'm gonna be using them for my demo. So this is an oil pastel in a pencil form. So you can think of it kind of like an eyeliner and you can create some like smudgy kind of smoky eyes. And it comes in a really gorgeous tin. Ooh, let me show that on the close up. Sorry, <laughs> I keep switching back and forth. Look at that gorgeous tin and then you open it up and it has the pencils inside which honestly look like eyeliner, beautiful eyeliner. And it also comes with a like little, um, sorry, I need to show that on the close up. It's just like a little um, sketch here. Oops. And on the back, it's your swatch chart. So you can swatch out those colors, mix them with water as well. I'll leave these out because I'm gonna use the drama sticks for my demonstration. Sorry, I need to rearrange. So I want to make sure I have what I'm going to be using for the demo. So, ooh, look at this one. I don't, did I show this one on the close-up? I did. Can I show it again? Look at that. That's the other uh, drama stick tin. Beautiful colors. You can see the colors on the back. So different colors. Such a cool collection. Why is it so cool? All right. So the next thing we have is the ultimate pens. Now there's different colors and I believe this is in one of the prize bundles. So we've got some pens. Now these kind of remind me of liquid eyeliner pens with like that brush tip. So let me attempt to show these to you on the close-up. So this is a finishing pen so you want to add these like at the very end, they kind of just allow you to add details to your to your project, to your faces. And it's really cool because if you've ever tried to like write over your acrylic paints with 
with a pen or like draw on it, it just kind of gets lost. But these are awesome. I don't know what kind of formula is in here, but they're very like, what's the word? Liquidy? Yeah, liquidy. Like, I don't know, they're just really good for adding those finishing touches. So we've got a range of these, and I believe the, um, there's some of these in the prize bundle as well. I will tell you what's in the prizes, prize bundles in just a little bit. Just wanna make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I think that's all. Did I show, show the case? I think that's the last thing I forgot to show. Sorry. <laughs> this is the open and shut little storage case. So it's got, I think four zippies, four little pouch, three little pouches in here to organize and like a little lovely home for all your uh, brushes and whatnot. Gorgeous. I don't think this will show up on the close-up camera, but you can see all of these products on the craft stash page. And there's also uh, stencils, which are coming soon. So you can, they're uh, layering stencils so that you can create these gorgeous faces. And then you can use all the beautiful making faces uh, products on top of those. So those will be available soon, soon. So check on the Craft Stash website and there's also, um, uh, it's like a, a notebook of, of faces and that's where these are from. So it's, um, it's called Not Quite a Blank Slate and you can pre-order those. So it's 10, uh, 10 designs. So there's five with Jane's art on them. So Jane's face is on there. And there's also five blanks as well. And those should be available on February 11th on the website. You can place your pre-order for those so that you can get these little blanks to practice, to practice with all your beautiful um, making faces collection products. Also forgot about the tattoos. So these are journal tattoos and I already used some of them because <laughs> I was having a play with them before the broadcast. But these are just fun. You just snip them. There's like different eyes, different little details like masks. And you just rub these on, onto your pages, onto your work of art. They're really fun. And it also comes with a little like, a little popsicle stick so that you can rub those on. All right. How is our time? We started a little bit late. <laughs> Uh, Becky Holiday says, Jane makes it all look so effortless. She does. <laughs> uh, she's amazing. Um, Shirley Clark says, if I won an original, so if she won one of the Jane's, um, Jane's originals, she would uh, take pride and place it in her lounge. Um, Tracy Crute says, I would definitely need those blanks. Yes. Um, 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 um. Lisa Jane Richards says, Jane Davenport, has taken art items to another level with all this beautiful stuff. Yes. Jelly Baby 86 says, I go nuts for storage. That's so pretty. Carrie Ann Harwood says that her bank card is quivering right now. <laughs> it's so funny. Let me look at my show notes and make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. No, I said the discount, right? 10% off artemology collection on the Craft Stash website using the code Jane10. Yeah, all right, so now to, let me tell you how to enter all the giveaways. Okay, so there's gonna be two live prizes on air and I'm gonna have to look at these, my little notes here so I know exactly <laughs> what, what I'm, I don't wanna tell you the wrong thing. So one person is going to win this live on air and you're just gonna have to leave a comment. As usual, I will tell you the question. So we will put this in a frame for you and send that off to you. I'll bubble wrap just to make sure that it, it gets to you intact. So one person is going to get a signed Jane Davenport original. Crazy, so lucky. And then another person is going to win a Making Faces bundle live on air. So we will announce that winner at the end of the broadcast. And for that, the bundle is going to be one of the palette pastels, two of the velvet, sorry, just want to make sure I say this right, guys, two of the velvet pastels, so the ones that kind of uh, look like lip gloss, and also an ultimate brush pen. So this will be one of the prize bundles that's going to be one on air. 
So this one's going to be one on air and this one to two lucky people. I'll tell you how to enter that. And then after the broadcast, you can share this. You can still enter after the broadcast is over until midnight. We're going to give away three more of these prize bundles. So you'll have until midnight, share it with your friends, share it in your crafty group so that they can enter as well. So we're gonna give away three more of these until midnight. And then the last three portraits will be up for grabs on the Craft Stash blog. I know that's confusing, so sorry about that. Hope that's not too confusing. You can find uh, the links for the Craft Stash blog. I believe our social media guru, Laura Tracy, is going to add that link so that you can enter to win one of these three signed portraits, which that one is open until Friday. So you have until midnight tonight, and then also until Friday to win some prizes. And you can enter on the Craft Stash blog for the portraits. And the other prize bundles will be on either the replay, so you'll have until midnight to enter, or also we're giving away two prizes live on air. Gosh, is that confusing? Is that, did that confuse everybody? Shauna, are you super confused? No. <laughs> She's confused. She's a little confused. <laughs> All right, so let's get to the demos. Because these are really fun. I think, are we good to switch to the top down so you can see these bad boys in action? Okay, so this is, sorry, this is from the not quite a blank slate. And so this is what it looks like when it's all blank. But then I just used some of the different products on here. And let me show you how to do that, how to use these. It's so fun, super easy. So the way that like I felt worked best for me was to either use the um, matchmaker set. So it's like, kind of looks like foundation for her face but also I had really good results with the birthday suit, the um, palette pastel. And you can apply these a few different ways. You can use brushes. So you can use the brushes, you can use the batons. How do you say batons, Shauna? Batons? Batons? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know anymore. She's like, I've never heard that word used properly. Baton? <laughs> oh gosh. Have you lost your Batten. No, I have not. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Shauna, for reminding me about the giveaway question. <laughs> I was just like, let's get to the demo. So anyway, the giveaway question. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. Too excited about the Making Faces collection. So to enter that giveaway before we get to the demo. To enter that giveaway, just answer the question below. So you have until midnight to answer. Uh, what is your earliest memory of art? Like being artsy or like being creative or crafty? Is it like you were a little kid, like you were three and you remember coloring and coloring books? Like what is your earliest memory of art or like being creative? And it, maybe it can be like sewing or something. So let us know. I think my earliest memory is from like kindergarten being five and you know you would do like finger painting and I remember like my teacher would put us in these like backward button up shirts. They were like old men's shirts and I just remember sticking my hands out and like having her put the shirt on me and then she would button the back and then we would get to painting. That was, that's like my earliest memory of art. Great memories, <laughs> you can answer that to enter some of the prizes, to enter to win some of the prizes. <laughs> Jennifer Hovermail says, thank you for reminding her to ask the giveaway question, yes. <laughs> thank you guys, thank you. All right, so back to the demo, hooray. All right, so as I was saying, I had really good results with the matchmaker set, but also, I don't know, these are my favorite, the um, palette pastels. It was just super easy, easy breezy. Why aren't these opening? There we go. So I'm gonna turn these this way. And I had the best um, results with the a little like smoothie blender. I think 
There's going to be some sponges on the Craft Stash website as well that you can pre-order that are from Jane Davenport. And there's different um, shapes of these little blenders. But I just had this one in my stash, so I thought I would use it. So I'm going to start off with the, just a light like skin tone here. This skin tone color. How's it looking, Shauna? Looking good. Yeah? And then you just blend that onto the face. It's so easy, guys. It's just like putting on makeup. I don't know. Some people don't put on makeup, though. I think I only put on makeup because I have to be on camera for work. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't. Do you like makeup, Shauna? Do you put on makeup? I do. Special occasions? Just for, yeah, special occasions. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just using this color here. And you can see her come to life. And I'm going to add some uh, light lighter and darker colors in just a bit and you really do need that combination of lights and darks to give you just a more realistic so it's not so her face is not so flat when you have lights and darks so highlights and shadows this is so fun do you want to have a play with this later <laughs> you're so busy this is my favorite i know it's so cool Really relaxing, super fun. These are great. So I'm just blending, blending that on. Smoothing it out. All right. That's a good base there. Now I wanna add some darker, darker like um, darker colors. Let me find my little baton that I was using earlier. I think it was this one. So I'm going to use one of the baton blenders. Baton blenders? Baton blenders? I don't know how to say it. So now I'm going to take this color, which is just like a maybe two shades darker, and I'm going to add some color right underneath her hairline, kind of where there would be a shadow. And blending that out slightly up here and you're gonna see like just the contouring will bring her face her face to life so I'm putting some down here right under her her chin and I'm also gonna put a little bit on the side of her nose and just kind of blend that out is it showing up? Can you see it? I think you can. And then we're going to do some underneath here, right under her cheekbone. Just adding a little contour. Are you into contouring? Mm. Shauna? Let, let us know if you have contoured and use highlights and contours. I, I seem to, it always looks like I have dirt on my face <laughs> when I do it. I don't think I'm blending properly. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. But for some reason, it's really easy on this face. Just blend some of that darker color in. And her face is kind of coming to life. All right, now we can put some like blush on her. Now for the blush, I want to use the, the color sticks. Now these, like I said, they kind of resemble lipstick. They're super creamy, gorgeous, gorgeous. They look like crayons when you open them up. So I'm gonna use, let's use this one, this lighter color. And there's a little tip. Oh, let me show that on the close up, if I may. Thank you. So it looks kind of like a crayon and it's super creamy. And we're just going to put this right here on her cheek. And then I will blend it out with my finger just to add some color. And these are also water soluble. So just a little 
What is this? A little blush? It's so pretty. Let me try to um, add some water to that. So I have my water brush here, and there's water in that barrel. And then we can spread that color out even more. The color sticks are really cool because you can um, pair them with water. Got some cool little like, um, what is it? Just like a model, model kind of makeup. A little dramatic, a little drama. What color should we make our hair? Should we do purple hair? I kind of want to do purple hair. So I'm going to use the color stick. And I'm just going to roughly draw in some purple highlights. <laughs> I feel so artsy with this set. And then when you put um, water on there, so with my water brush, it just dilutes it. But also, you can kind of blend it out with your finger a little bit better. This is one of those things like you get, you're gonna get your hands dirty. Are you guys all all into that? I kind of, um, I like to keep my hands clean. <laughs> so this kind of stresses me out a little bit, but it's, it's really fun. And it's just so like dramatic. Let's put another shade of purple in there. I like these faces because they look like they're like high fashion models. And it just feels really artsy. Like I feel like an artist right now. Let us know what you think of these products. Aren't they so fun? I kind of want to put like a pink streak in her hair. Just because I think she would, she would appreciate that. She kind of looks like, um, I don't know. What do you think she looks like? Like Blondie? Do you know who Blondie is, Shauna? Mm -hmm. <gasps> you don't know who Blondie is? <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. <laughs> she was a singer, like, famous uh, singer. Lots of hits in the 80s. Hard glass, mm -hmm. one way or another. Too young for that. Nope. Okay. No worries, no worries. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to, oh, I think I've smudged a little bit of that with my with my hand. So be careful with your hands, guys. I wanted to add some of the velvet pastels so that you can see how it works. So let me show you the tip on the close-up camera. Seriously, just like lip gloss. So fun, so I'm just gonna put a little lippy, a little lippy on her lips. And you want to let this dry. It's super, don't forget that it's wet. I messed up so many times because you forget like, oh, this needs air time, like dry time. So make sure to let it dry and look at those beautiful lips. And then we have another one. This is, um, I don't know if the color's on here. Oh yeah, Rose Empress. And the other red one that I used was Vel, no, sorry, Noble, I can't read, Noble Red and Rose Empress. So then I'm just gonna put a little bit of this lighter one just across her lips, make it a little artsy fartsy. I feel like it um when you when you're doing kind of like faces or just painting in general, it helps to have like a darker shade and a lighter shade, just so you have a shadow and a highlight. So let's put some eyeshadow on this on this face, on these eyes. This is where I, this is where I struggle. <laughs> you know who'd be really good at this? Is Kath. If you guys remember Kath. She is really good at doing eyeshadow. So we're just gonna pick up some of this purple with our baton blender. Put that across her eyelid. Isn't she so pretty? Mm, I hope you guys are liking this. She's pretty. So pretty. Okay, and then I'm gonna just flip it over and get this shade that's just a little bit lighter. I'm going to blend that, blend that top part right there. So, oops, wrong color. <laughs> and then just blend on this side as well. And then I'm going to switch over to this white here 
and kind of give her like a little highlight on her brow bone. I hope you can see that. How's that looking? It's looking all right. Then I also want to add like kind of a highlight on her nose, just on the bridge. Maybe a little here. And then some underneath her eye, just a little bit. Brighten up that under eye. That's what I'm always hearing on videos. Brighten up that under eye. <laughs> Isn't that what you hear a lot on like YouTube videos? <laughs> a swatch, swatch chart for you to swatch those out. Also a beautiful girl on the back. So I'm gonna use this to give her a smoky eye. So this is the black. Let me show the tip of that on the close-up. Look at that, it's just like an eyeliner, guys. That's so cool. All right, so I'm just gonna put that right over her lash line, a little bit under her eye. And then I can take one of my, I can either use my finger or one of the Baton blenders, sorry. And you can just smudge it out and give her kind of easy and kind of, um, kind of look. I don't know how she does it. She's so cool. Why is she so cool? So I'm gonna put a little bit here on top of the lip, lippy here. And that, that I, what I used for the lip was again, the um, velvet pastels that resemble lip gloss. And put some down here. And then we'll put a little bit on her nose there. Maybe some right here on her cheek. I don't know. And it's just really fun because it's, it just allows you to experiment and have fun and try new things. I don't know. It's just really cool. It's really relaxing, fun line, what a fun collection. Let's see what everyone's saying about, oh, I forgot to do her neck, guys. Why didn't anybody tell me? <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna read, read and blend. Sarah Rowland says, you have blended it well. Oh, thank you. Uh, Kim Sadler says, wow, the possibilities with these are unending great products. Um, Tracy Crute says, Jeanette, will you come and do my makeup next time I go out? You guys are so nice. I don't think, I don't know if I could do this in real life on a, on a three-dimensional person. It's really easy on a flat surface. <laughs> Janet Unsworth says that she needs those baton sticks for rubbing my powder on my nails. <sighs> They're really good quality, guys. I can't explain, like, the texture of them. They're, they just feel, like, super good quality. Ooh, we have Handmade Happiness by Sasha watching. She says, how much fun is that? Hello, Sasha. Thank you for watching. Uh, Tracy Arnold says, definitely ordering the stencils. Yes. Yes, and I hope when the stencils come in, I will be filming some tutorials on the Craft Stash YouTube channel. So, um... Pauline Taylor has a, so I'm sorry, so keep keep an eye out on that, I'm sorry. Pauline Taylor has a question, she says, this may, may sound silly, but can you put these on your own face or are they just for paper? So these are just for paper because they are, they're basically art supplies, um, but in like a makeup kind of inspired fashion. So they are, it's very tempting when you're looking at these, you're like, I can just put that on my face, but no, just, just don't. <laughs> it might, you might, your skin might react, react to it. So we don't want you to get hurt. Ooh, yeah, feeling artsy. Let me show that on the close-up, Shauna, if that's all right. Look how cool she looks. Got some nice, um, some shadows, some contour. She looks like a high fashion model. Super cool. Again, like if, if I can do it, you can do it, guys. And then with these tools, it's so easy. And um, again, these faces are from the Not Quite a Blank Slate. So, I don't 
don't see any entries for um, for the giveaway. So if you haven't entered the giveaway to win one of the uh, prize bundles, one of the makeup making faces prize bundles, but also one of the signed uh, portraits from Jane Davenport, make sure that you answer the question, what is your earliest memory about art? I need to read some of these. Where, where's, where's all the entries? Hmm. Oh, here's one. Uh, Tracy Arnold says her earliest craft memory, crafty memory, was at a nursery, and we were all making tissue and crepe paper daffodils for an Easter party. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh. Uh, Carrie Ann Harwood says my earliest art memory is doing mono printing at primary school using polystyrene tiles. We scratched on a design with a sharp pencil. The prints went on to make our topic book covers. Wow, that sounds really like complicated. <laughs> That's a good first memory. <laughs> um, let's see, let's see. Oh, Jennifer uh, Hoppermail has a great question. Do I have to learn how to put on makeup to do this? Like, oh, I think she's asking, like, do you have to already, does it help to know, like, on your own face to put on makeup to do this? And like, no, no, definitely not. It's super easy. It's just, think of it like coloring a page or um, like painting a page. Super easy, and if you have the right tools, if you have the bat baton, baton blenders and these great products, then it, it's really easy. You can replicate these. And Harad Locke says, my earliest memory is in primary school and getting all messy with glue and paper. The best part was always peeling the glue off your hands afterward. Yeah. Do you remember that? Like, I think every kid has done that once in their life. Just like peeling it, peeling it off. Oh, how's our time? How's our time, Shauna? Okay. Let me just um, talk about this one super quick. So this is, again, from the... Oh, where'd it go? So this is the other one that I had just painted, right? But I used this. I used the palette pastels. Now, for this one, I used the foundation. So let me just show you. Let me show you on this girl. Where is my foundation? Where is the, not the foundation, the matchmaker? <laughs> How did you know it was there, Shauna? You could see it. So this is a great set to have to create some skin tones and you start off with your base, which is this one. This is the face base, so that's why it's so big. And you just squeeze out a little bit. Make sure you close that right so you don't um, so you don't uh, dry it out. And then we have the lightning drops. And then we have the darkening drops. So you can make all kinds of skin, skin tones, skin colors. And then let's use our malicious brush here for this. We're going to mix these up. And then we can paint it on her face like foundation creamy foundation now um with this one you might be like oh if i paint over like the eyebrows and the eyes like how am i going to be able to see what i'm doing but it's kind of um it's not so opaque so you can still see what you're doing underneath so don't worry you just paint right over it and you'll still be able to see the design underneath so that you can you know add your um, palette pastels or your color sticks or your drama sticks. So and you just put a nice little layer of foundation kind of kind of paint. Isn't this so cool? Shauna, tell me your thoughts. It's so cool. Are you gonna order all the things? I don't know. <laughs> I am. I think I, I want to. I want to get this one because it's really cool. Um, and then um, I think this one, the, um, the set, the not quite a blank slate, so that you get all these fun little faces to practice on. And then the stencils as well, once those. Make sure you place your pre-order for the stencils. I think those are gonna go quickly because um, you can build your own, build your own uh, faces with that. And it also has like, um, Hairstyles, so you can do different hairstyles with the stencils. They're super fun. 
oh, I don't want to squeeze any more out. What do I do? I'm running out of right here. No, nope, I'm going to do it. It's not that I'm lazy. <laughs> I could get more. <laughs> okay, I'll get more. <laughs> All right. So see, super easy to add that base to your, to your face. Add that base to your face. And then once that dries, like I mentioned earlier, you can do, you can put like alcohol marker ink on this. You can do watercolors. You can do any of the palette pastels or the um, color sticks or the drama sticks. Like seriously, you can, it'll dry matte so you can layer all sorts on top. And what's cool like about Jane's, um, Jane's kind of style is that she's very like painterly. So if she has like crazy chunky brush strokes like this with like the, where the colors are like blocky and like really intense, it doesn't even matter. She just makes it work. I don't know how she does that. It's amazing. So I just kind of left that really dark right there so I could kind of feel like Jane a little bit. She's so cool. Why is she so cool? All right. So I'm going to back, go back over here super quick and just add some of these ones I've done. Same thing, I just mix these together to get this. It's already dry, um, so I didn't want to use the other one that I just did in case it's a disaster. <laughs> so we're just going to put a little bit of blush on her face with these color sticks. Blend that out. Look how nice that, that surface is. Ooh. Some dramatic cheeks. Put a little bit of lip gloss on there with the velvet pastels. Fun stuff, fun stuff. Um, let's see, let's see. What else? Oh, let's try, let's try some of this. Um, let's try putting on some of these. I'm going to put some highlights with my pastel. Ooh, this base is really cool. The, the base that you get with the uh, matchmaker set because it dries, it dries matte. I don't know. It's just a really like smooth surface for all your other, for all your other mediums. Sorry. This is cool guys. Just adding some highlights here and there. Blending that in. I'm blend the sun with my finger just a little bit. Where's my drama stick? Gotta give her some smoky eyes. So this is the drama stick. So it's just really easy to have a play with these. Smudge them out. Ooh, I like the look it gives when you smudge it with your finger versus smudging with the baton. It's very dramatic. And then I wanted to, where's my other color stick? There we go. Just add some highlights here. Draw it with my drama stick. I'm being very, trying to be artsy fartsy make it kind of chunky super easy easy I wonder what everybody's thinking about this put some eyeshadow on there let's give her some nice hair color these are the color sticks and again, these are water soluble, so it's kind of rough, but they spread out, spreads out with them. Some water, so I have my water here in my brush. Easy breezy. It doesn't have to be perfect. If it goes outside of the lines, it's all right. I'm just gonna blend that out with my finger. 
it's just a great way to experiment especially experiment with um art art supplies like if you've never tried acrylic paints or pastels or oils or you know what i mean it's just a good a good bridge a good segue into art into painting into mixed media so that's my second girl let me show that on the close-up super easy guys fun stuff fun stuff so much fun so sorry about those uh, technical difficulties earlier goodness all right sorry you gotta scroll 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 uh, Trudy Howard says she's too busy watching <laughs> to type. <laughs> uh, Maria Grimshaw says, I'm thinking it's brilliant and she wants it all. Judith Col Colum Elson says, we're all mesmerized watching you play. <laughs> I know it is, it is kind of mesmerizing. Like I have to keep reminding myself, like you should say something <laughs> instead of just being in the zone and coloring and putting makeup on my beautiful, the beautiful face. Okay. Emma Blake says she needs it all. Clon, Clon, Clona, Clonaman Crafter says too excited to type anything. Kim Sadler says well worth the wait. That was fab. Uh, Pooja says I'm amazed at the ease of use for a great end result. Yes. It's so easy. I mean, you know when you see Jane Davenport using her products and making beautiful art, you're like, oh, of course. Of course, she's Jane, you know? Like, she's, she's an amazing artist. But when you can take her tools and her products and also make something beautiful, it's like, oh, that's so cool. You feel like Jane. So if I can do it, you can do it too. So give, give the Making Faces collection a try. Check out all the products on the Craft Stash website. Okay. And also don't forget to take advantage of the 10% discount on her Artmology, which she has some cool um, hybrid inks. Squid inks, you can get those for 10% off with the code Jane10. All right, let me see if I have my winners. Okay, so we have the two live winners, but don't forget that there is still three more chances to win until midnight on the replay. So you can just leave a comment answering the question, what is your earliest memory of art? Okay. So, and also there's still these three up for grabs on the craft stash blog and that giveaway ends next Friday. So you have all week to enter that. So make sure you enter here until midnight on this broadcast and also on the blog all week long. Enter all the places in case you're confused about where to enter, okay? So just enter, enter, enter. So the first, our first honor winner is gonna get the palette pastel. Two of the velvet pastels and also an ultimate brush pen. Drum roll. Monica Halloway. She says that her earliest memory is drawing on the walls in her house when she was four. That's funny. I think we all did that too. Huh? Did you draw on the walls when you were little? Yeah, yeah I did too. Not, not indoors. I drew on the outside of, <laughs> of our house with like chalk. But that was fine because it was just chalk. Well done, Monica. <laughs> Yay. So you can either um, send, us a, send us an email. So you can email me, Jeanette, at craftstash.co.uk and send me your mailing information so that we can get that prize bundle to you. Now the winner of this beautiful Jane Davenport original, signed by Jane herself. So excited. It'll be framed. So it'll be nice and framed and protected for you is Jill Beattie. She says she remembers attempting to draw faces on a sketch pad when she was about eight. Amazing, well done, well done. And if you still have not entered the giveaway, don't worry, you still have until midnight to leave your comment about your earliest memory of art. And um, we've got three, three more of these prize bundles up for grabs. So three more chances to win until midnight. Tell your friends, tell your graph, 
crafty, crafty. Tell your crafty groups to enter that giveaway. They have until midnight to enter to win three more of these. All right, and then also on the blog, don't forget to check out the Craft Stash blog to enter to win the last three remaining Jane Davenport signed originals. You guys, what a fun broadcast. Again, I'm so sorry about the delay in the beginning. Um, hopefully we'll get it sorted out by next week. We're here every Friday at 1 p.m. Thank you again. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye.